The Arnold Company would like to thank you for adding the Door Demon Hopper Trailer Opener, or HTO, to your company's toolkit. We are confident the Door Demon HTO will not only make the job of opening hopper trailer gates or traps easier, but safer and more efficient as well. It is important that anyone that will operate the HTO first review this video or carefully read the manual prior to operation. While the HTO is designed to improve safety and productivity, it is still a power tool and should be treated as such. Before a brief demonstration of the HTO, let's acquaint you with several of its features. The ergonomic design and long shaft allow the operator's hands to be removed from the side of the trailer while operating in a comfortable standing position. Trailer gates can be tough, but can also be damaged fairly easily. The HTO motor and gear combination has been designed with just the right amount of torque to open the toughest gates without damaging any of them. Reversing is simple. It's done by rotating the ring just below the handle, which has three positions, clockwise, neutral, and counterclockwise. The hand lever has a lock to prevent accidental engagement. Simply push it out of the way to start rotation. Rotation speed will vary with the amount of pressure applied to the lever, allowing the operator to start out slowly and finish slowly when nearing the end of the gate track. A custom locking mechanism allows the operator to manually lock the shaft in order to apply enough pressure to release the latch usually found on the hopper trailer gate. As you are well aware, hopper trailers come with several different connections for gate opening. The HTO comes with three standard socket assemblies custom designed to open the majority of the existing gates. The sockets are designed to be easily removable and still lock in place to prevent accidental disconnection. Should a socket be dropped while switching, the large ring around the socket assembly should prevent it from falling through the unloading grate. The unit is air powered, requiring only 20 CFM and 70 PSI to operate. As with all air tools, it is critical that clean, dry, but lubricated air is supplied to the unit. A filter, regulator, and lubricator must be used with the HTO to help filter the air, regulate the pressure to the unit, and provide lubrication. The FRL should be positioned as close to the HTO as possible to allow proper lubrication to the unit. While the Arnold Company does sell an FRL, it is not required to use our FRL. Any FRL with a half inch input will suffice. Failure to use an FRL with the HTO will void the warranty. Before beginning to use the tool each day, make sure that the FRL regulator is set at 70 PSI or less. The unit can easily operate at lower PSI, but we do not recommend going higher than 70 PSI as damage could occur to the gates. We recommend utilizing a lock on the FRL to prevent anyone from adjusting the regulator unnecessarily. When using the HTO for the first time, it is a good idea for the operator to familiarize themselves with all of the features of the tool and, if possible, operate it before getting into a production environment. Prior to opening or closing a gate, check to see which socket assembly is needed to match the gate rod. Changing the socket assemblies is quick and easy. Just pull down on the red coupling as shown and pull the socket out. The new socket can simply be snapped back in. The socket should snap and lock into place, but give it a small pull to make sure. Always check the gate to understand which way the gate rod must rotate in order to open or close the gate. The operator should always hold the HCO handle and lever in the same hand as the direction of rotation. For example, if the unit is rotating counterclockwise, hold the handle in your left hand. If the unit is rotating clockwise, hold the handle in the right hand. This is important to provide maximum control of the unit during operation. 
When the unit starts out or hits the end of the gate, it will then bump the operator's hand upward instead of trying to pull downward and away. Check to see if a latch is preventing the gate from opening or closing. If so, engage the manual shaft lock by pressing on the locker lever as shown. The tab should engage the shaft as shown to lock the shaft. Manually apply enough pressure to slightly rotate the gate rod in order to disengage the latch. After the latch is out of the way, make sure the spring-loaded me locking mechanism has disengaged from the shaft of the HTO. This is how it works. Place the socket onto the gate rod and begin to rotate the gate open or closed. Prior to hitting the end of the trap, we recommend slowing down by letting off of the handle lever slightly. This allows for optimal control and smooth operation. After you're finished opening or closing, simply remove the HTO, reset the gate latch, and place the HTO in a safe place. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. We are sure that the Door Demon HTO will become a valuable asset for you, helping to make the job of opening hopper trailer gates easier, safer, and more efficient. Thank you for your business.